if you set a reselling New Year's resolution that's supposed to last the next 12 months, I want you to throw it in the garbage. And I will talk about why that is in just a second. What's going on, everybody? It is Brendan. The channel is Dad Planet. I am the one-man show. You and I are going to hit the ground running here in 2023 and head up to some thrift stores on a very wet day here in Columbus, Ohio to see if we can source anything cheap, flip it online, make a little bit of money, and a bunch of stuff in between. So we'll talk about what I think the solution to those New Year's resolutions is in just a bit. We're gonna go source, and then after that, I'm gonna give away a Patagonia Girls Better Sweater jacket that I sourced just recently here, and I had over 600 comments in a previous video. I thank each and every one of you for commenting and entering yourself into a chance to win that. We're gonna give that away. We're gonna shop until we drop. You know what it is. Let's get moving. If ever there were a mug that exemplifies the human being that you are listening to, it would be that one right there. Ray Dunn mugs here. You can pretty much pass on Ray Dunn mugs at this point. There's like 25,000 of them listed. 3,600 have sold in the last 90 days. That's like one and a half for every 10 listed. The line you really want to pay attention to when it comes to Ray Dunn is the early home line. Those pieces are still in demand and they sell for a pretty penny, pay attention to those. But unless you're getting Ray Dunn mugs for free and you wanna sell them for nine bucks and you're willing to wait a little bit to get them sold, and I would just pass on them completely. It is completely saturated as a market with you know, some obvious exceptions. There will always be one or two exceptions, but I would just pass on them because there's just nothing going on in that market right there. So my first grab, we're in the toy section. It's gonna be this groove tube lava lamp. I saw tons of lava lamps. These were sold at Spencer Gifts, I think maybe in like the mid 2010s, 2015 era. And one of the things you have to pay attention to, if you get a lava lamp, sometimes if like it hasn't been utilized in say over a year, it takes a long time for the wax to melt. And you know, you could have a couple of things working against you. The bulb might be dimming. It might not be as hot as it normally was. And so when you get one home, even after like say an hour, if, it, if the wax still isn't melting properly, you're just going to have to wait maybe another hour. It, it does take a while if it's been a long time since the item has been turned on. Keep that in mind. I'm going to show you towards the end of the video if mine has warmed up yet because again, it's some of them just take a long time to warm up. But at 10 bucks, I'm definitely picking that up. I will probably list it for $50. Lava lamps are like a big hitter for me usually all the time. So I think 50 bucks is going to be fair for that. They're a great seller. I don't see more than one of those listed. So I'm not going to have a ton of competition. There was one that was brand new. I think listed for $65. So 50 is where mine is going to land. That's a really great first find. Okay. So for new resellers, or if you're new to my channel, I like sourcing these items not just for me, but for you also. So Hexbug, Aquabot, I don't know anything about this, but the best part about it is I don't have to. It's only $2, and then when I scan it using the UPC code, no listings come up, but when I check the solds, there are nine or 10 solds in the last 90 days. That's a very safe bet, safe seller, especially at the $2 price point. And I don't even know how you use that, but I don't care, it doesn't matter. And so for new sellers who maybe wanna turn an item over a little bit faster or the price you pay is an issue. That's a great find at two bucks. Turn it around and sell it for 15. This is another great example of that. Johnson's No More Tangles. There's maybe one or two listed under the UPC code, but I went into Terapeak and the last two years data tells me that I think 40 or so of these have sold in the last 90 days. This is another $15 hit. There was no price on that one, so she charged me 99 cents for it, but you take the Hexbug, Aquabot, you take the Johnson's, detangler or whatever that's called and you add those up and you accumulate those in your store over time those are the boring sellers that kind of butter the bread here everybody wants to find nintendo switches in the thrift stores and for those of you that are always afraid that the stores are like marking every item up i'm sorry to disappoint you but there are millions of those johnson's those hex bugs just waiting for you to flip to make money. And I mean, I'll get $30 for them and $2 for one, $1 for the other. I'm going to pay three. I mean, that's amazing. So point made. Next thing here, what do we have? That was a cool like mag wheel clock. I looked it up. There were the comps weren't that good. 
Andrew is always telling me grab vans if they've got like a funky pattern to them. I don't know that I called this funky, right? This purple check pattern. They're a women's size eight, but I see a brand new one that sold. It's shipped from Lithuania, so who knows, but looks like that one sold for 90. There was a pre-owned pair that sold this exact style, this exact size for maybe $25, $30. I think realistically for me, I'll list those brand new and they're going to cost me $9. At $45, I'm gonna assume that you can get them in store, like a van store or somebody that sells vans for like 55, 65. So in the spirit of you know, buying something on eBay where maybe you're looking for something a little bit cheaper, $45 would be a fair price. Again, if I can list them in brand new condition, which I think I can. So I will pick those up. I don't do a ton of vans, but Andrew's telling me to keep my eye out. So that's what I'm doing. And we're gonna move over to, I think this cart just rolled out here. I always look for Starbucks tumblers. This one had promise because it has the straw and it had the tag on the bottom. But if you look right there, it looks like some water has seeped in, like maybe this had been used before. I opened it up and it looked clean on the inside, but with that sort of damage, if you will, I'm, I can't really get a decent price for it pre-owned. So I'm just gonna put that back and we've got, you know, again, more <laughs> Ray Dunn mugs. If you're getting them for free, you know, and you're not afraid to hold on to them for a little while, like maybe that's a deal there, but I just pass on them completely because there's just nothing going on there. A bunch of DVDs, a DVD player, some pet fence that didn't have any of the cords or plugs or peripherals. So we're just going to pass up on all of that. We're going to go to another store because I can't really find anything else in that store that satisfies me. I'm a very big shoe seller. I want to sell even more shoes in 2023 than I did in 2022. Tiva sandals are great sellers for me. These were in excellent condition. I'm second guessing myself because I put them in my, my cart, but I put them back because I didn't see any solds in the last 90 days under that um, style code, which was 1,329. Now, normally that wouldn't deter me, but I see a pair of Merrill trail gloves right here that are a much better buy. These are a women's seven and a half. Nice thing about these is they will sell year round and the velocity, the sales velocity doesn't necessarily change for this shoe. They sell you know, all 12 months pretty consistently with some obvious like sort of drop offs, but the velocity stays consistent and I sell a ton of them. So, I, you know, $35 is going to be the price for those. I'm taking those home. I really wanted to take these Hoka's, but we have a lot of heel drag. There's a hole in the tip there. Too many things working against me here condition wise. And I don't want to attract a buyer that's like looking for a pair of shoes for 10 bucks. And um, it just had too many condition issues Anyway, so we're leaving those behind. Same with these Nike shocks. Like I really, really wanted these to work here, but too much damage right there. I mean, it was like really kind of peeking through there. So those have to stay behind as well. I've never seen a pair of Toms like this before. These canvas shoes with the sort of the T popping out there with the gum soles. I'm gonna leave all of those behind. Same thing with these Hocus here. You know, the soles look a little bit better like i think you could get away with it there's still enough tread left here but then you got to look at the inside ankles here these holes were like really cut through deep now normally if there was just a little bit of damage right there that wouldn't necessarily like force me to put them back but adding it all up together and those those holes were pretty severe i gotta leave these behind too i love hoka as a brand but i need shoes that are in better condition for both of those ones so let's just leave those behind move over to their carts they look like they're pretty picked through at this point i did look this leap start up not much resale value there i can find an item like this coach wallet all day long at the goodwill bins they wanted four dollars for that that's just not something that i necessarily need from the retail stores at that price secret door here i looked this up no value i was disappointed because i think pastimes was the uh, manufacturer on that one and uh, sometimes their games can go for a high dollar amount. I'm a year round Halloween seller, but I did put those witches behind. Um, could have been a mistake, didn't really look it up, but uh, but I do buy Halloween year round and I you know suggest you folks always look the Halloween stuff up year round as well. But I don't see anything else on these carts here. And I'm from, I'm in middle Ohio, I'm in Columbus. So you'll see a lot of Ohio State related items. You'll see a lot of Ohio related items throughout my sourcing and I do like to try to educate you on all things Ohio when I think it's interesting or it makes sense for you. But as it stands, these carts don't have much on them and so we're gonna have to move on here. Just before I leave this store, I'm gonna grab a couple more pairs of shoes. I like these because they're a men's 12 and they're a wide. They are, I think, Nike free runs. 
Um, it's only gonna cost me $5. Good resale value at about $35. I will throw them in the wash to clean them up. And I like this pair of Crocs. I haven't identified them yet, but Crocs was my sleeper shoe hit of 2022. And so I wanna kinda hit the ground running with Crocs, so I'm definitely gonna pick those up. Let's just pick a price at $25 since I can't find a comp on it yet. I can't identify the exact style and I do like to do that where I can. So $25 not knowing any better right now conservatively. And yes, those will also cost me five bucks here. Nothing on the seasonal racks. I always like to check the um, the case here. There's always some interesting things in here. This was like a Peter Rabbit. I don't know if this is a music box or like a cake topper. I'm not really sure what that was. And I didn't look any of this up. So if it was worth a million dollars, please let me know. That looks like the Smithsonian logo on that button maybe. Um, but yeah, I didn't look this one up either. They wanted $10 for it. If it was worth 200 in your local, go grab it and uh, resell that thing because I definitely didn't pick it up. So I'm uh, moving over to my last and final store here. And I, this is always like as a an encouragement for new sellers or if you're new to selling shoes. This pair of shoes looks like they're worth $2. The brand is Zero. The style on this is Prio. They are a men's 11. They're triple black, all black. The listing price for this pair of shoes pre-owned for me is gonna be $55, and they're only gonna cost me $5. There are so many items just like this, and I've sourced on camera this brand before, but if you're new to shoes, you're new to reselling, you're trying to make a little bit more money, this is the item that like does it for us. This is, and there are thousands, ten thousands, millions of them just floating around that really look unassuming, that have a ton of value. I love Zero as a brand. It's gonna be a very easy seller. The comparables that you saw on the screen, they had some like white uh, in addition to the black for that Piro, but mine were triple black. So I, I get to kind of call my my shot here price-wise, but I think $50, $55 will be fair. And I don't see anything else on these carts. I didn't look this Britney collection thing up. That might've had some value. They wanted $7 for it, but Think about it. Those items are out there in full force. This right here, Ikea, a, another brand that I have a ton of success with. Got Gora is the style of this decor piece. It has glass on the inside, but it's brand new. It's got the tags on the bottom and the hanging tag here, probably a little bit dusty on the top, needs to be wiped off. There's a couple listed, but they're both pre-owned. Um, and I've seen some good enough sales in the last uh, year to two years on that item to be convinced that I can sell it for $30. That's probably what I'll do. I'll probably list it for 30. It didn't have a price tag on it. I believe they charged me $3.99 for that. So another, um, just a matter of time before it sells seller. I always look at those makeup mirrors, but I didn't think that one had any value. I don't really like that brand that I saw there. And I always end up picking these up here. Five bucks is a little bit much for an item that I'm only going to be able to flip for maybe 20. It's an M510 Logitech mouse. And I pick a few of these up every year. Again, 20 bucks on that, but at five bucks, you can't go wrong, it's brand new. It's gonna take me two minutes to list it, two minutes to fulfill it when it sells. So for me, price-wise and time-wise, that makes a lot of sense. And RC remotes, always look these up. Traxxas is the brand you wanna look for. There was a Traxxas RC in there, but it didn't have any value, and really none of the other ones did as well. So I left that one behind. But for now, we're gonna go home and test that lava lamp, and then we'll do a giveaway. I plugged this in at 9 a.m. in the morning. It is now 10.30 and it is just now starting to bubble. So a really good example of just being patient. It doesn't necessarily mean that it doesn't work, but it is in perfect working condition right there. Again, an hour and a half, two and a half hours. It might be longer. This is thin in a lot of the lava lamps that you see that are like 16 and a half inches tall. They have a very wide base at the bottom here. And so they might even take a little bit longer than the two to three hours that I'm telling you to give yourself before you can say, okay, well maybe it's the light or maybe it just isn't functioning. Maybe it's bad wax. So. Um, um, please keep that in mind. But as it stands, this thing here is looking fantastic and uh, $50 is going to be the price. All right, I am super behind on comments, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, I promise you I will get to as many of them as I can. I've just been kind of easing into the year here and uh, I am appreciative of each and every one of you. All right, so first thing we have to do here is filter duplicate users. We can include replies and specific text, no. Remove winner from list after draw. 
We don't need that. What is animation? Shh, I don't know what any of this means. So let's get the amount of comments in that video that are unique. We're looking at 608. That is amazing. And then is this the button that I have to hit? I can never remember. I think this is it right here. All right, let's see who is the winner of the Patagonia Girls Better Sweater. It is Angela Chestnut. And she says, congrats on 10K. Well, congrats to you, Angela. You need to send me your details. Send them to dadplanetofficial at gmail.com. And I will put this Patagonia Better Sweater in the mail for you. Congratulations on the win. I spent $51 for all of the items that you saw in the video today. My total listed value for everything comes to $325. Now with respect to New Year's resolutions, they're stupid. Don't set yourself up for failure. Set micro goals for your business in 2023. So for me, for January, I only wanna be 10% better than I was last January, but I definitely wanna get my listings to 1,500 active listings by February 1st, and that's it. I'm gonna set micro goals, and hopefully I will hit them incrementally. Don't set yourself up for failure by setting long-term goals that you're never going to hit. Chop them up into little itty bitty digestible pieces, and I think you'll succeed more so than you would if you try to stretch it out for an entire year. Brendan here, Dad Planet, The One Man Show. Hit that like button if you liked what you saw or you learned something today, and then always consider becoming a member of the Dad Planet family by subscribing and hitting the bell notification icon so that you know every single time I upload a video to YouTube. But that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much, and we'll see you in the next video.